It is day 11 of protests in the valley and this week has been peaceful. Yeah, we've been out there every night and tonight there was one plan downtown for Dion Johnson, the 28 year old black man recently shot and killed by a DPS trooper. That is where we find our Brianna Whitney tonight. Brianna, how's it going out there? No justice! No justice! No justice! Yeah, Whitney and Spencer, so this uh, protest started at Encanto Park and is now making its way down Encanto Boulevard to end up at DPS headquarters. We're just a few blocks away right now, uh, but it has been very peaceful, and I've noticed from the days of covering these protests, a lot of young people out here tonight. I want to give you a look here. We're at the front of the pack, just staying out of their way, staying a safe distance from all of the protesters, but there are thousands of them out here, and one common theme we're seeing a lot of are signs that say, defund the police. Uh, one chant they were just chanting was abolish not reform, make no police the norm. And this coming just hours after the majority of the Minneapolis City Council pledged to defund and dismantle the Minneapolis Police Department. So a lot of the people out here obviously calling for change. They're also fighting for Dion Johnson, who was shot and killed by a DPS officer uh, last month, looking for more details in that investigation. But it is all peaceful. A lot of young people out here with signs. There are people on either side passing out waters and snacks because it is hot out here. But everything is under control. Officers are making sure protesters stay safe and we're on our way to the DPS headquarters. So we'll bring you the latest look here at 530 as we continue our coverage downtown for the protest tonight. Whitney Spencer, I'll send it back to you.